Colon cancer took Bozeman's life after a four-year private battle. Joining us now for more on this particular type of cancer and tips for prevention is Dr. Jay Bott. Good morning to you, doctor. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Ariel. Thanks for having me. The American Cancer Society reports that African Americans have the highest colorectal cancer rates of any racial groups in the United States. Tell us why they're so disproportionately affected. Sure. Well, one, I just want to say uh, my condolences to the Bozeman family and uh, grateful for the inspiration and talent that Chadwick shared with all of us. And this is really a wake up call. I think we don't know the complete answer to this question, but it is being studied aggressively. But we do have evidence suggesting the following. African Americans have lower rates of screening, which plays an important role. They also potentially have higher genetic predisposition. And then there's a big environmental role in this country. Lifestyle factors, diet, rates of obesity, smoking, lack of exercise, tobacco, alcohol, diabetes. But the, importantly, we often find that African Americans present with cancer on the right side of the colon that could be more aggressive. And that's important because sigmoidoscopy is one of the screening tests only looks at the left side, not the right side. And we know that African Americans are more likely to develop colorectal cancer at a younger age and be at more advanced stages when diagnosed. And so the other systemic factors that are important is that underserved communities are at risk. There's poor lack of access to care. I see patients often who have not seen a doctor in three years, in five years, in 10 years. And so underneath, colorectal cancer could be brewing. And then there's stigma and family history, which often sometimes these fam individuals don't know their family history. And Bozeman was pretty young to be diagnosed with colon cancer. The majority of cases occur in people older than 50. So what should people do to prevent and to screen for this disease? Right, so colon cancer, colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among men and women combined in the United States. And one in three people are not up to date with colorectal cancer screening. So Ariel, you write that early screening is critically important. One, know your family history. If you have family history, that means in your mother, father, brother, sister, then you need to have screening start at 40 years of age or 10 years before the age at which the first degree relative was diagnosed. Second, talk about it. It's okay to normalize the conversation about screening. Sometimes talking about screening, uh, uh, colorectal screening is hard. Younger people may not want to share their symptoms or want to get screened. Awareness that there is a life-saving screening test is critical. We know that those uh, that um, find colorectal cancer in early stage and remove it, their chance to be alive in 10 years is 90%. And if it's metastasized, then the chance of being alive in 10 years is 10%. And there are different modalities that can be used to get screened, like the FIT test or the FIT DNA, the Cologuard, which uh, these can be done at home. They're less invasive than a colonoscopy. And if you have symptoms, don't keep it a secret. Talk to your family, your healthcare provider, and, and find out what screening test is best for you. Wow, those statistics are extremely stark. So is there talk in the medical community of lowering the recommendations for the age of initial screening to try to catch this cancer earlier? The national guidelines are uh, screening beginning at the age of 50 for average risk. Now, for African Americans, there is widespread agreement of screening at the age of 45. And there is discussion happening about whether we should be screening at younger ages. But we know that if you have family history, if you have familial or genetic conditions, then you need to talk to your doctor and, and get screened as early as possible uh, because that could save your life. Dr. Jay Bott, thank you so much for that very important insight. And coming up this morning at 11, we'll take a deeper look at the impact Bozeman's role had as, a, as Black Panther, and we will continue to have uh, and will continue to have on black children. And immediately following, we will also have an encore presentation of the ABC News special, Chadwick Bozeman, a tribute for a king, all right here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.